Hi YouTube, I'm back to do a video on my on the go case. I haven't really showed you what I like to keep with me when I go places or keep them with me when I'm decorating. To be honest, I don't really bring this with me uh, everywhere. I just bring it with me um, if I'm going to go for go go somewhere for a long time or if I'm going to be away for a long time, which is not often. So, uh, but I use I do like this uh, when I'm using it at home too. I just it has everything in one place. So I just wanted to show you my case. Um, this case I bought in Canada. I think it was Winners, which is like a TJ Maxx in the states. And it was really um, inexpensive. It was, I think, for two pouches. Like it came with this one and like a smaller pencil case pouch. I think it was about twenty dollars, ten to twenty dollars. Maybe it was fifteen or something like that. So it was not too expensive. It was a reasonable price. And it's what I like about it is that it's very light and it's um, it's um, it it it's hard to see like scuff marks and everything because of the design. So let's open it up and see. So first things first, I have my scissors. These are uh, from Daiso. I like the fact that they're fine, the fine tip scissors. And of course I have my tape runner, nice and small. Some of my favorite pens, this is the Coletto pen. It has the black, pink and red and I know it doesn't really match but I use these colors often so and yeah, that's the Coletto. Another favorite is my Friction. This is the three barrel pen. I ran out of the black ink, but I replaced it with purple. <laughs> so it works perfect. I really like this, um, I don't know what you would call this claw, like a clasp. The Coletto doesn't have it. If it had it, it would be perfect. I like it because you can open it up widely and put it into something thicker. It's perfect, so I like that. I just have a pencil refill case. It came with a... It came together uh, when I purchased this mechanical pencil at Daiso, so it would, it's nice and thin and it holds my lead refill, so it's it's in my pencil case. Just some magnetic uh, paper clips. I don't really use these often to be honest with you. I just have them in there just in case if I need them. And then my pens come out. So let me remove this as soon as a marker. So uh, this is just a regular ballpoint pen. It is not very good to be honest with you. I purchased at Daiso but it has uh, th no, two colors. It has a black and a red and um, the first one is a black and then when you want to switch to a red you're supposed to shake it somehow and I don't know if you can see so now that there's the red one and sometimes not sometimes all the time it's not working properly so I'm always shaking it trying to change the colors and oh it has a pencil I forgot so it has three it has a black ink red ink and a, pen a mechanical pencil but I'm always shaking it trying to get like the correct ink and I don't know maybe I don't know if anybody else has this one you have a technique that you use to work it properly maybe I'm shaking it the wrong way maybe I'm supposed to just kind of tilt it to the left or I don't know but anyways it's cute and sometimes I want to uh, write with a ball a ballpoint pen and so I have this one and and then I have this one that I have from Charlotte that I received in a giveaway and I love it because it's really thin and I love the uh, sometimes I just want to have a thin tip a fine tip and I love this one it's really really pretty and cute then I have the Le Pens that I got uh, from Anna Sophia and I don't know why I know they're made in I guess they're made in Japan it says Japan on them but I can't find them in Japan <laughs> I think I'm not looking in the right stores. I um, I go to I usually go to Tokyo Hands, and of course they have a really big stationery section. But maybe I'm not looking in the right area, or I don't know. Maybe the one that I go to isn't uh, stocked. 
you know, doesn't have, they don't have these in stock. I'm not sure, but I really enjoyed the Le Pens and so I, I keep these two with me. Of course, there's the Friction Pens. So these are the Friction Point 0 0.4. So there's red, pink, blue, purple, green, orange. And I like to use them in my planner. I usually do it according to um, like the week. It, I, it all depends on the week, what I want to write. So this week is like purple pink, so I'll use purple pink. Uh, this week is uh, <laughs> purple pink again, <laughs> so I'll use that. Uh, it all really depends on... I don't have a color coding system, so I just like to keep these ones with me. And then there is the... Just the regular friction slim zero point sorry zero three eight, and it's one of those clicker ones. Uh, I'm not going to say too much about this one because it's good and it's bad. Sometimes it gets scratchy because it's so thin, like the the tip is so thin and the ink doesn't come out as nicely. So this one is a uh, so-so, but I like it because it's um, slender and. It's light, so I can just uh, stick it in there, and it's a black pen that I will always have with me. But it's not my favorite. Then I have the Friction. The Friction Markers. I purchased this one separately because I wanted a purple in there as well. And, yeah, I really enjoy them. I wish they were a little bit more thin. Uh, I don't know the tip of these. I don't know if there is one. But anyways, I like these because... Um, when you write on it and you make a mistake, you can just easily erase it. So I really enjoy using these markers and it adds a pop of color to the weekly uh, calendars. And then come the stickers. I have just the regular tabs that are in the color rainbow colors. I have the two masking sticker sets. Uh, the solid version color and then the fabric color that I use often and I like these because there's just so much so many different choices that you can choose from and we you know I can just kind of color coordinate with the week and they're stick and they they're adhesive so I don't have to apply glue on the back and this, this one is the fabric version this one I use as well that's what it looks like yeah, really enjoy these ones. And then stickers. I don't have too many stickers. I don't think I do. Oh, well, maybe I do. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but this is pretty much what I have. I do uh, have some that I like, kind of keep away, that I, I give away to racks and stuff. But these are the majority of ones that I, I kind of use. Uh, let me see if I have any more. Now anyways, I have like sticker flakes and stuff, but these are the ones that I usually keep with me. Sorry, the I, I haven't really organized it according to like the package, but they're just, you know, diary stickers that I purchased from Etsy. Uh, most of these are from, oh sorry, these ones I think are from Racks. Uh, most of these stickers are from Etsy and the person that I bought them from is Sticker Paradise on Etsy. I don't know if they still have some of these styles in stock. The store seems to always change. So they might, you know, if you wait, they might there might be uh, it's like a revolving stock, I guess. These ones I got at Tokyo Hands. I think it was Tokyo Hands. This these thin ones. Um, and you can kind of, they're perforated uh, in little increments so you can cut them shorter or longer. And this one where you can kind of highlight certain areas. It's really, really cute and pretty. And this one is also from the Et same Etsy store. And they're just diary stickers. And that's all that I keep in my to-go pouch. Yeah, nothing in there. I don't know, do you have any suggestions of what else I should keep in my to-go pouch? I don't really have anything else that I kind of grab. If I, <clears throat> excuse me. As for post-it notes, 
I always keep some post-it notes in my, like here, there's some post-it flags here, some in here, some dewdrops. So I always keep some post-it notes in my planner, so I don't really, yeah, I don't really keep a, a whack of um, post-its in my to-go pouch, unless uh, I use I have some in here unless I use some like specific ones like specific designs that I want to use for the week uh, then I will stick it in my fly on my fly leaf uh, on here but this week I don't have anything yep so that's it that's what's in my uh, to-go pouch if you have a video that's similar or if you have recommendations of you know as certain stationary products or certain post-its or stickers or you know someone on eBay or Etsy please let me know and I would like to check it out I always look for new things so <laughs> yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it wasn't too boring if you have any other recommendations or videos that you want to see I know somebody wanted to see a Coletto uh, this Coletto one the Coletto pen uh, update or sorry not update but a review um, so I will hopefully post that up soon. Well, I haven't really filmed it, so <laughs> I have to film it first, but if you want me to do any other reviews or, um, like, uh, yeah, if you want me to do any other reviews, let me know. Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye.